Bruce Hills, the cornerstone of low income living and forgotten political promises in the southeast region of Queensland, specifically the northern outskirts of Brisbane. It is here that Samuel and Carla Benand, otherwise known as Crosty and Rort, or Hammer and Tong collectively, have returned from a disastrous attempt at discovering fame and fortune in the city of Melbourne. Screwed by greedy managers and swallowed up in the already burgeoning mire of hip-hop artists, Sam and Caleb will now begin their long journey of rebuilding from nothing. Bruce Hills. It is here that we will explore the people and places that make this so-called slum a true home in the hills. Hey, my name's Sam, aka Crosty. My name's Caleb Benand, or Rod MC. Caleb's brother, representing uh, Bruce Hills. Live in Bruce Hills, in my sister's shed. Um, Sam's little brother. Been in the shed about oh, a week now. Been in the shed about a week. Pretty cruisy, no dramas. Um, moved into sister's shed uh, about a week ago and yeah it's all been going good I'm not even stressed about moving into the shed you know it's it's um it's right. street grime fucking uh, low budget it's free yeah. doesn't cost us nothing no. and um, it's our family you know we're representing our blood out here uh, Hannah she knows our situation man that's yeah. our sister our big sister you know and, and she's she's taken care of us all our life she's never let us down before and and, and you know she's not gonna let us down now yeah it'd be like a fair crack to say that the boys could use a hand sorting their shit out from time to time like they're my brothers eh? that's blood and that's just as thick as water Uh, no, no worries, we got into the shed easy. It's dope, eh? Hey. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for letting us move um, in as well. Yeah, that's alright, hey. Like, I mean, I do have a spare room, but it's sort of my art studio, I guess. Like, I've yeah. got all my stuff in it because I've been painting. Yeah, yeah, and I've yeah. even been selling some paintings, like, on the internet. Maka and her are going to be real happy together. Um, I got them, well, I made them this painting for the wedding as a wedding present. And... Yeah, I think that she'll, uh, the painting, I'm thinking it might make her cry because it's so close to home and, you know, it'll really touch her and stuff. Um, and I think Maka will like it because it's got boobs. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna go back out. Um, I'll get you guys some keys. Go on. Sure. Um, I'll also pick up some snags and stuff for the Welcome Home Barbecue. Hey, oh, true. true. What's that tonight? Yeah, no, tomorrow night. Tomorrow. Yeah, most of the block's gonna come. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, um, you just got that little CD player here, eh? Yeah. It's all right though, like left speaker is okay, it cuts out a little bit. Mm. Now, who's got the sound system in the hills these days? Oh, um, bloody CJ. Ah, CJ. Yeah, he has all the parties now. Apparently he got, got all this sweet gear because his mum got this compo deal and he took the money off her and bought Maybe stuff. we should see if we can borrow that sweet gear. Interesting scenario. Oh, no, I don't want nothing to do with any of your criminal nonsense, you two, all right? No, yeah, you're all right. Can you tell us how you ended up here in the shed? Yeah, okay. Uh, started a couple of months ago, me and Sam went to Melbourne with this shifty prick Shane. Yeah, our ex-manager. We write, Fuckhead. We write this album, the dope, banging hip-hop album, the music, the lyrics, the whole deal, and he ended up, he gave it to a group he was running on the side of us. Yeah, the fucking us of all people, man. No talent punks fucking mm. as if. We thought we were signing a record contract, I guess we didn't read it good enough, and Ended up signing over the entire rights for the whole album to this prick. So you got fucked pretty well, huh? Yes, <laughs> fucking good and proper, mate. Right up the clacker. It was a royal ass fucking. Is there a plan of action or...? No, I mean, we have a plan. Always got a plan, bro. Uh, stage one is kicking off today. I mean, you boys can come along if you want. How's that? Fucking run in. Nah, no, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that we're clumsy, like, we're not known for being clumsy and shit. I mean, half the time, like, Sam's, you know, he's pissed half the time, and I'm fucking stoned most of the time, so, like, if, if we're clumsy, it's just because of that, eh, it's just not because we're, like, we're clumsy or nothing. Shut up! Oh, no, bro, there's just um, some boys from Melbourne just come up to film us for a couple of weeks. You know, to get to have a feel of us. And... Melbourne? How was Melbourne? Uh, sucked, bro. Sucked. What's been going on here? Oh, same old, same old. The hills never change, man. Hey, hey. I, um, wondering, do you have a car? Yeah, I got a car. Sam's been going burko since he lost his deck, say, so we're going to grab some from this dick we know. Uh, Craig Joshua. First two named dick. Calls himself, uh, DJ CJ. DJ <laughs> Thinks he's hot shit. He played one gig at the family, eh? But nah, he's a he's a pork chop, mate. He uh, owes us a bit of tick a few years back, so we're gonna collect today. Now zoom in. Make sure you get my finger pointing at it, and go to my full pose. Hang on. Uh, introduce yourself, mate. Yo, 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 what's up? It's DJ CJ WP, representing WP, Southside Brizzy. Real cats need only apply. Trust. And how do you know Hammer and Tong? Fuck those Hammer and Tong cats. Yeah, yeah, I've known those two cats about 10 years, man, since grade 9. Uh, they're in my band, uh, Afterbirth, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking, we split up, man. Uh, technical difficulties. Uh, yeah. Artistic differences. Uh, yeah, better, better week later they stole all my shit. Yeah, we stole the shit, man. My fucking mics, my stands, my fucking amps. He was being a dick, and that's what you get. Yeah, I know, man. That's bullshit. And I'd fucking well, I don't, I didn't have it. We didn't take it. We did take it, but we didn't. He didn't know that. So from that day on, bend it. Take two, two, three. Yeah. 
So from that day on, vendetta. Ray, tell me, Joshua, what is going on up there? Is Shut up, Mum. It was a, it was an accident. It's not supposed to be loaded in a bloody house. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. <sighs> Occupational hazard. Okay, so the history with CJ and Lance. Back in primary school, Lance, uh, his first day at school, he was new. He had quite long hair and was being picked on for looking like a girl. Uh, anyways, the story goes, CJ came to the defense of who he thought was a girl and got his ass kicked. He later found out that Lance was a boy and they've just pretty much been best friends ever since. Yeah, I'd, I'd also do the Joshua's house. You know, uh, a couple of houses down, a couple of blocks down and uh, Craig. Their boys about the same age. Shit. I don't know, he's the same age as the boys, but spoil rotten little shit he is. Yeah, the boys have been at each other for years, years and years. Like someone always ends up getting hurt, and the lesson like is never learned. I reckon one day one of them is gonna bloody shoot themselves, oh, don't say that. and then the lesson will hit him. I don't know that happen. Nah, if it does happen, I hope it's bloody CJ. Can't stand that kid. Yeah, too right. He is a goose. Yeah. yeah. Craig's a dick. This is this is the road. This is the road. Yeah. yeah. Oh, his dad's got the road. He thinks he's all gangster. Before we get really drunk tonight, we gotta take care of that bizzo we were talking about before. That house, right there, coming up. Yeah, it could get a bit fucking sus in there, man, so maybe just chill back a bit. If it's cool, we'll give you the nod, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Look, we don't want to fuck this up. Get a bit heavy up here, so you guys should, should just like hang back. Get your fucking shit on, boy. Yeah, let's get it. You ready? Cool. do like that thing what we done to dickhead I'll go first because I'm like the tiger and Caleb and Paul are like the um, like the thinking we we might have half fucked the robbery it was a little bit of a blessing and surprise like we found a big bag of weed because like when I said because I'm like the tiger the front of the tiger with the 
claws and the mouth with and the mouth. And uh, the decks didn't eat shit, so that was that was good. But yeah, it was it was. Um... I don't know. It's not really like a tiger. It's more like something with two heads. And I've got the. We fucked it. Oh, you stood right on my fucking head, bro. I help you jump right in front I wouldn't of me. I would have if you were pushing me oh, the whole way. Don't blame me for your unkindness, man. It's your fault. You yeah. fell first. You yeah, pushed me. Oh, you pushed me. Oh, fucking shit, I did. Party time. Grab this fuck here. Sweet. Move, move, move. Yeah. It, uh, went all right, I guess. Except for when a fatso here landed on me. Oh! <laughs> right as oh. rain. Uh, Hello, can, can you please get the shit off your face? Pull! Pull! Ah! Ah! <sighs> Need a bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking swinging around like a madman. It's Harry and Tom, and we're pulling off another fucking beat scan. Got the drums and the bass. After I sneezed right in your fucking face. What the fuck did you expect? Respect straight away. No way, you don't pay. You gotta pay your dues. I've got news, I never lose, but you'll be losing it all when you're coming up against a crew. So fuck, fuck, the fuck, but for fuck's sake, motherfucker. Okay, day one. Already, I've implicated myself in a violent crime, which could be a problem to my funding, I'm not actually sure. But, I will persevere. 89 days left of this shit. Hopefully, hopefully I don't get arrested. Or stabbed. Don't bring it so quickly. Hey, um, that ain't go as far as I used to, them things. Have Kevin Sharon's barbecue for tomorrow night? Sure. No. So, party's on, eh? Oh. Working, working. Sweet. Mm. It's gonna be awesome. Hey, Toast. Here's to you guys for making him back in one piece. Oh, Wait, fucking CJ's soft as, man, as if he was gonna do anything. I was talking about Melbourne, you <laughs> idiot. Oh, yeah. yeah good yeah. to have you back. Oh, thanks, man. Well, good to be back. Mm. So, so we're having a little shed warming party tonight. Uh, Organise some furniture, a bit of chairs. Spit it out. CJ's coming with a. He's fuck, got a gun. Fuck, fuck, we got his back right here. No shit. What do we do? Couches, stools, shit for people to fuck, sit man. on. This isn't your shit, bro. We it's like a uh, charity from the street. Presents, dude. man, from our people. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. I'm half cut already, man. It's going to be fucking awesome. I'm taking batterers, cannonballs attacking. A head I tackle to tangle and mangle me up in this life. Guess I'm getting try. Fuck the dumb shit. I've done the fun shit. Now it's time to get my ass in the gear. No, no more crumbs, bitch. I'm taking what's mine by rights. You wanna fight? Try to deny what's mine. And you're eating the shin to the iron, copping the bows to the nose. Cause I defend the castle with katanas and crowbars. This is my life. I don't know, it's not really like a tiger, it's more like something with two heads, and I've got... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell.